Okay, so first of all, I have three cylinders here, and I have been measuring the air in these cylinders every day. And I want to highlight these values in an alternating pattern to make it easier for me to see when the values change. So on the first day, which is the 2nd of December, I'm going to highlight all of the values for G1. And then I'm also going to highlight all of the values for G3. Then on the next day, which is the 3rd of December, I'm going to highlight all of the values for G2. Then on the day after that, I'm going to highlight all of the values for G1. And you can see that I want a pattern that looks like this, where the highlighting goes back and forth whenever the value changes. But I don't want to have to manually do this all of the way down the table. So instead, I'm going to use conditional formatting. So I'll remove the highlighting from here and then add in a new column. And I'm going to number all of the values. So I'll type the number one into the first cell. Then in the next cell, I will use an if formula. And the logical test will be, is this value here equal to the value in the cell just above it? And if that is true, I want it to copy the number in the cell above. And if it is false, then I want it to take this number and add one to it and close brackets and enter. And then I will double click to send this formula down. And so in this cell, for example, we can see that this value here is equal to the value in the cell above it. So that is true, which means we copy the number in the cell above, so we get the number one. Then in the next cell, we can see that this value here is not equal to the value in the cell above, which means this is false. So we take the number above and we add one to it, which means we get the number two here. Then in the next cell, this value here is equal to the value in the cell above it, which means this is true. So we copy the number in the cell above, so we get the number two here. And this pattern continues all the way down the table. So in this way, we can number all of our values. Then I need to add in a test here, which is is odd. And this returns a true if the number is odd. So we'll select this number here and then close brackets and enter. And then double click to send that formula down. And now you can see for the number one, that's an odd number, so we get all trues here. And then for number two, that's an even number, so we get false. And for three, we get true. And you can see it goes back and forth between false and true. And the conditional formatting will be applied whenever the value is true. So I will now apply the conditional formatting. So I'll press Control A to select all. And then I will go to Conditional Formatting and New Rule. And the formatting rule type will be use a formula to determine which cells to format. And here we have to be really careful about the cell reference that we use. So at the moment, the active cell is A2. So I'll type A2 in here. And the active cell is the one which is white, whereas all of the other ones will be gray. Then I need an equals in front of this. And I don't actually want to be looking in column A. I want to be looking in column H where all of my numbers are. So I'm going to change this here to H and also put a dollar sign in front of it to make it an absolute cell reference. And that means it will always be looking in column H. It will apply formatting to all of the columns, but when deciding what to format, it will base its decision on the values in column H. Then for the row number, I'm just going to leave that as two so that it will stay as a relative cell reference, which means that it will change normally. So each row will be formatted individually as we go down the table. Then I need to put in my test and this is is odd and the cell reference needs to go inside of the brackets. 
and then we need to tell it what we want the formatting to be. So I will change the fill here to be a light orange and OK. And then OK again. And now you can see we have the highlighting alternating for each of the values. So G1 on the first day is orange and then G3 on the first day is also orange and then G2 on the second day is orange and then G1 on the following day is orange. And this pattern continues all the way down the table to make it easier for me to see when the values change. OK, so in this video, I have shown you how to highlight rows in a table based on their values using conditional formatting. And that is everything.